one. So today I'm going to do a products I've used up video. I know I did one recently. I'm sitting back in like February or January, but I didn't realize I have a whole bunch of stuff here. Mostly it's all skincare because you guys know I'm obsessed with my skincare. And uh, you'll be surprised at how much I finished, but I finished a lot. So let's go on with the Cetaphil products because, you know, girls obsessed with Cetaphil. Uh, first thing I finished was a Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser, and this is a one liter bottle. I get this at Costco, and I use this all the time. And um, I remember watching Goss Makeup Artist video, Wayne Goss. He was saying how you shouldn't spend so much money on your cleanser, especially because you're just going to rinse it off. And if it had nutrients or whatever, vitamins in it, it's going to come right off your face anyway. So, like, what's the point of spending so much money on it? But this is, like, not. Like, I'm obsessed with this. I've been using it for years now. Um, next are two more Cetaphil products from the Restore Derm Collection. Because I do have eczema skin. So for those of you who haven't been following me for a while, I do have eczema skin. Especially, ugh, I can't talk. Especially in the summer and winter times. And sometimes it acts up in spring fall because my skin's like, oh my god, what's it going to do? Like, why is this weather like acting up right now? Um, so this is the Nourishing Body Wash. And this is 295 milliliters. And this one's the same thing, 295 and this is a lotion. So I use a body wash, obviously, when I shower. <laughs> and the um, lotion, I use it um, right after my showers. So, love these. Next, your skincare. So let's go on with the skincare, because I sorted each one of my products in skincare categories. Uh, Garnier Fresh Eye Makeup Remover. You guys know how obsessed I am with this. And unfortunately, their packaging did get smaller, and they charge you the same amount of money, which sucks. But there's that. Uh, this is the Ren Clean Skin Care Vita Mineral Emollient Rescue Cream. And this one I used as my night cream and I finished like literally every single bit of it. This is pretty pricey. It was like 50 something dollars at Sephora. And it's from the UK so I'm hoping when I go to Europe next month I can get some of this with hopefully be more affordable. But it's Ren Clean Skin Care and this one is actually really good for the cold winters that we have here in Canada. And I really like it because it's thick but it's still like easy to warm up with your hands, especially if you have a serum on your face, it'll help spread the cream easier on your face. And if you do have dry skin, it's better to put a cream on your face than a lotion or a gel because they don't go like as, they're not as moisturizing on your skin as you want it to be. So there's that. Um, this one is my Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Daily Moisturizing Lotion with Broad Spectrum SPF 30 with antioxidants. And this one was, ugh, I can't talk. This one was my day cream with the SPF in it, and I want to repurchase this, but I haven't gone around to doing that yet. But it's a moisturizer with the SPF, and it's so important to wear SPF above 15, especially during the daytime. So even if you don't, like, go, you think you're not going to be out in the sun for long, you still get, like, sun in your face, like, every single day. So you need to make sure you're wearing your SPF. Um, next one is the Lancome Nutrix Royale Body Intense Lipid Repair Cream for Very Dry Skin. I've had this for a while now, but, um, I, basically I use it as a hand cream in my purse or spot treatment, like, on my face when I had dry patches, especially in the winter time, and it was just, like, disgusting. But I love this. It's amazing. I would repurchase if I got the opportunity to do so, but not full price because full price is expensive. And I love it because it's really moisturizing, especially for people who have very dry skin. This one will last you a while. Like, it will keep that moisture in your face. And the strange thing about this lotion, I think it's maybe because, like, with Canadian winters, but when you have this in your purse and you're, like, in and outdoors, like, a lot, the, the oils that are in that lotion or in this lotion sometimes separate. And then when you put it on your hand, you see, like, clear oils oils and then you see the actual lotion so you gotta make sure you mix it up first and then put it on your face because sometimes I don't know it's just, that's how cold our winters are it like separates like you don't think it would separate but it does but I would I love this lotion uh, next is an eye cream and this is the what is it it's the body shop smoothing eye cream um, reduces the appearance of lines and wrinkles with community fair trade organic babasu oil I like it, but I didn't love it. It's um, It was in a pump, like, container here. And this is, like, a 50 milliliter, so it's half, an, half a fluid ounce for all my American friends out there. Um, it was okay. It was, like, nah. I, That's how I felt also about the serum that came with this set together. I don't really like it, so I wouldn't recommend it. It's, like, affordable, but I feel like it didn't really do anything for me. And it just, like, you know, it didn't excite me. So I think it did help with my wrinkles, but I just, I felt like... I've had like better eye creams, basically, I'm trying to say. 
last skincare item is um, it's a day cream, but it's a Biotherm Rides Repair, but it's an anti aging um, day cream, but that doesn't have SPF in it, so you have to put a separate SPF when you use this. And this one was a 15 milliliter container, so half a fluid ounce. I finished it. I like the smell of it, but um, yeah, it kept my wrinkles away. It was very moisturizing. Um, if I did have dry patch throughout the day, I would use my um, Lancome one or whatever like lotion I would have in my purse, but it's okay. I, it's not like amazing, but I like it. I got it during the Laura Warehouse, so, so I think that's why I have it. Uh, next are makeup products. Let's go with my mascaras, 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 mascara, mascara. Okay, so four mascaras. The first mascara is the CoverGirl Nature Luxe Mousse Mascara. I don't believe they make this anymore. They probably make it the Power Blue Mascara or something with Katy Perry. It's like in a other container. This one, I didn't like it. It has a weird scent to it now because, you know, it's old. But, nah, it's light, but it didn't give me much, like, awesomeness with my mascara. Not my mascara. With, <coughs> excuse me, right. <coughs> with my lashes. I didn't like it. I bought it because Holly Anne Holly on YouTube, she liked it, but I, it's just, it wasn't for me. So, would not repurchase. And plus, they don't make it anymore, so I can't repurchase. Um, this one, I don't even know why I bought this, but my mom got me into, like, getting this because she got one. So, I'm like, oh, I want one, too. Uh, why did I get it? But it's a <laughs> Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush Mascara in like the vile light color. But basically it's a purple mascara. My mom's like, oh, purple mascara is good for you. And I'm like, okay. And I never used it. So this is like really old. So that's why I, I, that's why I have to throw it out. I didn't really use it up. I think I used it like once or t two or three times when I got it. And I liked it, but never like used it afterwards. I'm like, why am I using purple mascara? It just, it just doesn't make sense. Because I guess I got brown eyes, but mmm. Uh, this one is a Blink uh, Mascara. Stop painting your lashes. Tube them. This one, I love this, but I hate taking it off. Because, like, I like using makeup remover, but you have to use warm water and, like, rub it. And when I use my Foyer Luna, you can see, like, black bits of, like, the mascara in it. It just, like, creeps me out. But this one is, like, the Tube Mascara. And, um, it's, it's really nice. Um, I've had it for a few months now, and I... Like it. I don't remember how I got it. I think I got it as part of like a gift bag or something. But I never bought this myself, so I I really like it. And this this color black. This one, oh my god. This is a Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. And I got this with my 50 Shades of Grey Eye and, Eye and Lip Set. Um, that came out like back in the Boxing Day, like December 26th. And I love this mascara. I know like the brush like seems huge and stuff, but like it's so nice. Like I'm obsessed with it and I would... I think I have a small, like, baby size of this one somewhere, but, like, this is, I think this was a small size, like, the sample, not a sample size, but, like, they had, like, a, this is, like, the size that they had. This is not the full size of it, I believe. No, it can't be. Five milliliters. Yeah, mascaras don't come in five milliliters. They normally come in how much? Yeah, 8.2. So, yeah, this, this one's really nice. I would repurchase, because I believe, um, they have the... Makeup Forever has their Smoky Eyes Mascara, and I don't really like that one, but the Smoky Extravagant, that's like a whole nother story. It makes your lashes look so bomb. Um, liquid Eyeliners. The L'Oreal Paris Infallible, 12-hour Infallible, the Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner. I hate this. It's terrible. I bought it, and I hate it. And people thought it was like the new, next, like, best, like, liquid eyeliner, and I hate it. It's like not even... Like, when you draw the black line, it's not full-on, like, opaque, and you have to go over it several times to make it work. I'm like, no, no one's got time for that, so, no. I used it a bit, and I'm just like, it kind of got dried out, so I'm like, gross, disgusting. This one is the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Linear Intense. Um, car carbon Black, did I say Carbon Black? Yeah, mascara. Not mascara. Liquid eyeliner. This is too thick for me now. I'm so used to having a thin one that I don't really like this anymore, and, like, it just, it smudges on me. I don't like it, so, no. Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I finished it. That's why this is in here. Um, I use this mainly in like the winter time because it's for dry skin. Well, like, it's, I guess it's more moisturizing than like the Urban Decay one, but meh. I got my NARS now. Uh, the Seche Vite. Oh my god, I can't talk anymore. Seche Vite Dry Fast Top Coat. I love it. Repurchased it. Will repurchase this forever. And I tried using other fast dry top coats and they're just not as good as this one. But if you know anyone that's, like, less dangerous than this one, let me know, because I do not know. Uh, yeah, see, this is the NARS, uh, eyeshadow base I was talking about, the Smudge Proof one. I literally finished every single bit of it. I opened up the lid part, but this is donezo. Done. Uh, 
This is a Purely Cosmetics Diamond Perfect Finish Powder. Um, I finished, I use this as my under eye setting powder, and it's translucent, which is nice. But I find it caked up a little bit on my face. Maybe I didn't know how to put it on properly, but I got this as part of, what was it? I think it was at IMATS, like a few years ago when, um, Purse Buzz and Encore Makeup was there, and they had like a treasure hunt sort of thing, so that's when I got it, and I loved it. But I liked it in the beginning, but I think I was putting it on wrong, so like, I, I'm glad I finished this. <laughs> Uh, next is the brush cleanser, the Perian Spirit Brush Cleanser. I tried finding this at IMATS, but I think it like ordered or something. But like this one, it smells delicious and it dries really fast. It cleans your brushes very well, but it's a spot clean type of thing. It's not like a deep clean. Yeah, it's it's just it's it's a spot cleaning one. It's not a deep clean brush cleanser. But the current brush cleanser I'm using is my um, Encore Makeup brush soaps so it's kind of like a solid on one side and the other side is like a scrubby thing so there's that but if you want me to do a brush cleaning video let me know because I don't know like I know people have a lot of videos like on YouTube but if you want to see how I wash my brushes let me know and the last three are random but Dove dry shampoo um, I love their dry shampoo I love it and like I said before for dry shampoo to work it's better to do it the night before so if you know you need it the next day Spray it on your hair the night before, put a towel on your bed so when your hair is like all like like when you're sleeping, it won't get on your pillowcase. But that's, I love this and I have repurchased. And if, I finished this a while ago but I'm not sure why this is like back there in my products I've used up bag. But it's the Lady Speed Stick Fresh Infusions 24 Hour Antiperspirant. I love it and it smells so good. And it still smells delicious even though it's like back there, stuck there somewhere. But yeah. And then the Avon Naturals Cucumber Melon Antibacterial Hand Gel. Who doesn't love hand sanitizer? And I stopped using the Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers because I find that they're just too perfumey and I feel like they don't actually sanitize my skin or like whatever my hands at the time. But this one, it's it's it has a cucumber melon scent but it's not that strong and it's clear and it doesn't have those antimicrobial beads in it but like it's just... I feel like my hands are cleaner and it's less perfumey because I feel like every time I use the Bath and Body Works one, I feel like I just putting perfume like on my hands. So yeah, I'm not a fan of their stuff, like their hand sanitizers anymore. But yeah, that is my complete products I've used up video. Hope you guys enjoyed this and thought it was helpful. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.